Now this is a pretty much a standard uh, motherboard from eBay or some obscure Swedish site. I don't remember. It's um, this is the most common fault on these ones, and it's a broken trace or traces. A boy or a girl tried to repair this by removing the chips, and it's not easy. Sometimes uh, this happens to me even today. I've removed maybe hundreds of chips, maybe thousands, I don't know, I don't keep count. It's, um, you know, you have to practice, practice, practice. Anyway, when uh, the traces are broken like this, I just uh, remove them. I wiggle them off like this, because I don't want them sitting there and uh, short something out. If they are long enough, I will connect them to the endpoints, but in this case we need to remove it, so Consider it gone and uh, we will take a thin copper wire to replace this um, trace. And by the way, when you're working with retro computers like this one and it's not, um, let's say, a mint, like a very rare machine, I mean, just repair it. Use your own brain, use your own methods, use MacGyver style repair. Who cares? Just as long as it works. Uh, you, I mean, you save a computer from the trash can. That is the most important thing. And don't listen to the persons telling you, do this, do that. Just develop your own technique. And uh, those people rarely have any experience of repairing anything at all. So just use your own imagination and um, your own gut feeling. And everything will be fine as long as you Stay away from um, high voltage stuff. So the trace has been uh, replaced and uh, we need to glue it in place. A little bit of glue here and uh, we are finished with this little repair. <laughs> 